Hello and welcome back to Shadi no Kuni. <sighs> okay, that was a rough episode last time. It was really late, so I maybe got way too into it. But anyway, let's continue now and see if they actually will find the treasure. Not that that is the most important part. I hope Sachi is okay, but it would be really, really unfair if they go through so much trouble and then got there, got out of there empty-handed. <clears throat> we took a break and waited for Sachi to recover her stamina. Think you're good to go? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sleepy though. Sorry, but we don't have the time for that. We would really prefer that we leave as soon as possible. No thanks! We've already come this far! This was coming from someone who had narrowly escaped death only minutes earlier. Alright. Today, I'm gonna give it my all at full power! We advanced forward once more. The relatively smooth passageway continued as such for. Sachi's faltering gait made me stop and think. I needed to get her out of here as soon as possible. It's a dead end. Yeah, so it has to be here somewhere. We searched our surroundings with the light from our helmets. Something sparkled near one of the stalactites. A stalagmite reached out of the ground below it, like it was a pedestal holding a treasure chest in a game or something. A glass box lay on top of that pedestal. So it really was here. Let's open it! Sachi carefully reached out for the lid. A diamond? Really? Oh! There was a diamond inside, so you couldn't see it from outside the box? I mean, you didn't really have to open it to see that there's a diamond inside it. The, this is Higuchi oji sans treasure? It was large enough that it would probably serve to absolve Sachi of her obligation by itself. Haha! Man, I can't believe Dad actually hit something like this. Huh? What's that? A soiled sheet of paper lay at the bottom of the box. A message! It's a message, isn't it? Let's take a look. <laughs> Neat handwriting! <laughs> so, Sakchan, I bet you are surprised. <laughs> it's Oji-san! Go on. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, eh? You know, putting a diamond in a box like this on the wise, don't you think? <laughs> I told you to continue. <laughs> oh, I should have bought this with more force, sorry. But what the hell, man? No need to be in such a hurry. Dot, dot, dot. I was always fascinated with stuff like Treasure Island when I was a kid. It was really fun hiding treasures and then trying to find them. Ken, you've really grown. Atta boy, getting here and all. And I'm sure it 
Liliko has grown quite beautiful as well. We need to take good care of her until she finds a husband. Wait, wasn't w w Liliko his sister? And I don't think the sister wants anyone but him. Where is she actually? We haven't met his sister yet, have we? Thanks, Sachi. Liliko was Ken's sister's name, I think. Come to think of it, Sachi, Natsumi and the West had never actually met my sister face to face. What? Really? Sak-chan, I'll give you this diamond to you. In return, you shall become my woman. LOL. Okay. Why did he have to use LOL? <laughs> if that's not possible, then you can have Ken. He's a late blooming M piece of crap. With M, they mean masochistic, I guess. He's got a baby face and acts all nice, so I'm sure the ladies will love him. But make no mistake, he's still a piece of crap. Wow, way too wide about your own son. Of course, Ken might not be there with you now. If that's the case, then you can go ahead and choose whichever man you like. Oh man, he was really thinking ahead. Da, da, da. Anyway, I give this to you. It can be pretty tough making a living off of paintings, but chase after your dreams and hang in there. Oh, uh, I, I just realized I maybe should have should have read the letter like I would speak the father of him. Just, you know, that I should maybe read it like, anyway, I give this to you. It can be pretty tough making a living off of paintings, but chase after your dreams and hang in there. So, you know, like in all the other animes, it starts with the actual voice and then it transitions into the voice of the one who actually wrote the letter. That would be cool, but I haven't really think, thought about it. I just wanted to stay in character, more or less. I don't think I am not yet able to do her actual voice. I don't even know if I'm remotely close for more than one reason. The first reason is my voice is not at a, at a hundred percent yet. The second reason is uh, that I probably forgot how I even did her voice, which is the case most of the time. Oh, even she is touched by his words. He still thinks that she's painting because she loved to paint. Sachi? N nothing. I continue. I think I do that now. I mean, why not? Ken, there's something I need to tell you. I've never told you this, but I'm a retired special high class individual. Yeah, I knew. I had looked it up. Your dad's gonna do something that might bring unhappiness to a lot of people pretty soon. If you're reading this, then I probably failed. But I can't go back now. Even if what I'm about to do brings misfortune down upon my generation, I pray that yours will be a blessed one. It is for this reason that I take up arms. 
リリコと二人で幸せに暮らすように。I want you to live together with Liliko in peace and happiness. 決してお父さんのようになろうなどと思わないことだ。Please do not attempt to follow my footsteps. What does he mean by that? He shall not attempt to become a special high class individual? Or she, no, she, she should not, he should not attempt to go at arms against society. Oh, okay. okay, so he meant with going on a revolution or something like this. You might be a piece of crap, but you've got potential, kid. You might even become a better high class individual than me. Although, that's probably just my parental base talking. Waffle. <laughs> really? Was he not ashamed of using waffle at his age? Take care of Liriko. If I fail, you guys might be in a lot of trouble by the time you get around to reading this note. It's the son's job to wipe his dad's ass after all. LOL. But just in case, if the time comes when you feel a certain dissatisfaction with this society, please take a look at this contents of at the contents of this memory stick. Memory stick? This? Wait a minute. Really? You said to him he shouldn't go into your footsteps, but you're giving him now information how he could start a revolt? Well, that's just me guessing, but that's. that's pretty contradicting, isn't it? A small USB drive was taped to the back of the paper. I entrusted the password to Liliko. And what is if she's dead? So it was password protected? Well, I guess he could just hack it, I would assume. Farewell, my beloved son. Love, Dad. PS. Oh, okay. Fuck, PlayStation? <laughs> Did he really just say fuck the PlayStation? <laughs> oh my, yeah, I... I recently came to hate Sony and and its PlayStation, but not because they do they do bad hardware, but because of their exclusive titles and that they close off PC gamers from certain games just to to sell their console with less power than a gaming machine. So that's why I came to hate Sony. So in addition to that, the PlayStation. It's not as far as I would maybe never play on a PlayStation, but as long as I can avoid it, and so far there's no real need or no real reason to do so, because let's be honest, most good games are also on the PC, and a developer who makes his game exclusive is pretty dumb anyway, unless they get really, really a good deal out of it. Which seems to be the case. I mean, Sony has a lot of money, so they have to dump a lot of money to get the title exclusive. And yeah, I can't really blame the developers either to do this. So the blame is mostly on Sony doing this to the PC community. Anyway, this was a little bit off topic. Dot dot. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Postscript was a bit surreal. The hell, Dad? Fuck the PlayStation. I'll be taking this memory stick. 
Why? I should take it. I may run into his sister one of these days. I can't allow that. Why? It has nothing to do with you. I'll be confiscating Higuchi Saburu's belongings. I'm a dog of the country after all. Sachi clicked her tongue at me. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you can have the diamond. Really? It doesn't seem to be very high in quality. I doubt you get much for it anyway. I probably shouldn't have said that. Eh? Really? No way! It just has to be valuable! Oji-san had tons of treasure after all! We'll see. I'll check it out myself. I had just ended up getting her more interested in the prospect of selling it. That diamond would almost certainly have resulted in enough cash to completely annul her obligation. I couldn't accept that sort of cheating. Maybe I should confess. Why is it cheating? She put a lot of effort into it to get to this point. And, I mean, she could be an artist, but society decided to fuck her over so she never painted again. And she could have made a living out of it if she wouldn't have stopped it because of the negative influence of other people. So, yeah, it's not really cheating. I think she suffered enough. Do we actually know why she has the obligation by now? Oh, she made a lot of debts. That's what I... I would think of something else. Well, it is a present from your beloved Oji-san after all. You wouldn't just sell it like that, would you? I guess you're right. Judging from the way he had phrased it, he probably wouldn't mind if she cashed it in as long as she continued painting. Yeah, that's why. Right. Come on, Sachi, you're a smart girl. You could have figured that out. But I get why she wouldn't catch on to that. Because if I read something, it happens to me as well that I miss what was actually there. And I only concentrated on reading what was written there. So, no, only concentrate of... Yeah, only concentrate of reading but not see what I actually read there. Or understand. Whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Guess I shouldn't. Yes, you should. He wants you to do what the... you. Uh, she, he wants to follow your passion and that is painting. And you can only do that if you are free of your obligation and have enough money to withhold you. I mean, to, to, to hold you up the water. Fortunately, Sachi sucked at reading. <laughs> Kenichi, you're a dick! But this does make me kind of happy. She started rubbing her cheeks against the diamond. Really? Oh, that does make me kind of happy. Mm, diamond. Actually, diamonds have no worth at all, but for... S but that's the good thing about a fucked up society. They're valuable things that are literally worth nothing. And that's kind of interesting. Okay, we really need to get out of here. Yeah, we had a great cave con offensive, didn't we? Uh, the reason I said that, um, you should look up Adam wounds everything... The lie behind, um, how was that? Ah, oh, the ring you buy if you want to marry someone. I don't know the term for it. Engagement wing. The lie behind engagement wings. Adam wounds everything. The lie behind engagement wings. Yeah, totally. It was all edgy edgy. What? 
Edgy, edgy? I thought that meant extreme. Oh, yeah, that's not a boom anymore. What the hell? Then just what is a boom right now? How about Kenichi? Come on, you're making me blush here. Don't stare at me like that. Well, you didn't deserve it because you're a dick. I made her laugh. Why did you come with me? To make sure you took your medicine. That was the answer I had prepared at the outset anyway. So she isn't as dumb as she let on, but she is dumb in other ways. Okay. Wouldn't it be easier if you just ordered me to stay by your side? That's called special guidance, isn't it? That would have made supervision easier. Yes. I have no intention of enforcing any laws other than the ones pursuant to your obligation. Wow, great. She seemed disappointed somehow. We're leaving. Said she perked up after I started tugging on her hand. Thanks! Ah, there's nothing like the sun shining on your head, don't you agree? It was three in the afternoon, by the time we returned to the dorm. Isuno had been loitering around the cave entrance, but left triumphantly after he spotted us. I'm beat! A hint of accomplishment accompanied her words. She had put the diamond away on the shelf ever so carefully. Where's Mana? Mana wasn't in the closet. Mana? Uh, she's not here. I thought she'd be sleeping right now. I guess she's buying the painting stuff. Maybe she went shopping? Maybe. She was probably worried since we had taken so long. Bath time! Clean yourself well. You need to disinfect all of your wounds. You too, Kenichi. Your hands all messed up. It was from all the walk bashing. And a gory, huh? It's my fault, isn't it? What makes you say that? Because I was clumsy. And fell into the ditch and all. What's your fault is my fault. And what's my fault is my fault. What? What's your fault is my fault. And what's my fault is my fault. Are you trying to parody something? Don't worry about it. Go take your bath. I shoot her away and grab the bottle of antiseptic. Sachi, however, hadn't moved. She was staring at me. <laughs> Is this dangerous territory I'm stepping into? Dangerous YouTube being a dick territory? Do you want to go in together? What? No, of course not. How could I do that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I had thought she was just making fun of me. That didn't seem to be the case. It's alright. I can help you wash the dirtier areas, okay? Wait, is, is this really happening? Don't act like an idiot! You know I can't handle stuff like that. I won't have a clear conscience if you don't come in with me. What do you mean? Yeah, 
when I met you for the first time. My immediate reaction was, whoa, this guy looks like he has a lot of money. And then I ended up talking to you and having a lot of fun with it. Ah, so that's why you invited me to your room? Yeah, and then when I hear that you were in training to be a high class individual, I figured that you'd have some experience with survival stuff, so you took me on your cave exploring trip. I'm completely self centered, aren't I? No. You're someone who tried to reach out to others through her paintings. Mm? The cruel remarks that people heaped upon you might have made you withdraw a bit and try to focus on yourself, but Sachi, at heart, you are still a very kind person. <sighs> you are too nice for your own good. No. I'm not a nice guy of any sort. I was just offering you an an analysis. Whatever. You're cool. I love you. Well, this wasn't good. I get too nervous to think clearly in situations like these. Come on, let's bath together. Her voice dripped with ha honey. I couldn't believe that the person standing in front of me was Sachi. Okay. Okay, you know what? Uh, this will be a two-parted episode because reasons. I think I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you in the second part later this day, and probably after this, you watch this, the other one will be up already, hopefully. If not, wait for three more minutes, because I can only schedule 30 minutes ahead. So yeah, I will see you then in the next part of this. Stay tuned!